Today's video is going to be all about beating man coverage. I'm going to show you my favorite way to beat man coverage in Madden 24 and one of the best route combos that you can literally apply to any formation in this game. The, the play we're going to be taking a look at today is the double post at a gun bunch offset in the Colts playbook. This is just so we can do this out of bunch. You can do this out of other formations as well. Um, but basically the concept here, what are we doing with this play? We are going to create a mesh concept. There's a lot of ways that you can create a mesh concept in Madden, but my favorite way to do it, um, specifically from bunch, especially bunch offset, is to utilize the tight end as a pass protector. Because obviously the blitzes this year are really good, and one of the best ways to pick up blitzes is to block your tight end. From there, we're going to drag our slot receiver, and what you're going to see is we've created a mesh concept over the middle of the field between our running back and our slot receiver. The beauty of this slot receiver drag route is it really is going to do a good job of beating man coverage across the middle of the field, as you can see right there. Now, this running back route is also pretty good uh, at once it kind of cuts, beating man coverage. And then you have this backbreaker route over the top with, uh, with the post route. Now, the one thing I did want to say about the post route is you could literally do this out of any play with a post. It doesn't have to be this specific post. I will say that this specific post is really good, but let's say you put him on a slot apprentice post. What you're going to notice is that slot apprentice post is going to beat man coverage as well. You're going to be able to beat man coverage over the middle of the field, um, just like that. Now, the other thing that I want to show you here real quick with this concept is this C route against press coverage. You can throw that with an inside pass lead uh, once the ball is snapped. But the other thing that you might consider doing with this play is putting him on a comeback route. Comeback routes in Madden 24 are really pretty good and pretty consistent uh, for attacking man coverage. You want to wait until they basically break, and then you just want to throw them. I'm not pass leading that necessarily. Um, I'm definitely not free forming that this year. I'm mainly just trying to basically, you know, pass lead to the sideline. C routes can get open against man coverage, as you can see right there as well. Now, the other thing that's really cool about the mesh concept is it puts the user in a lot of conflict. So let's say, for example, that your opponent maybe set up a coverage like this, and they've got to go user that deep post route that is so effective against man. The beauty of this is your running back in route can be thrown early before it gets to the flat defender, and you can easily pick up like five to 10 yards, even when they have a defense on the field that is pretty equipped to, to defend this. As we also know in Madden 24, a lot of people like to send five out of man coverage. So if they're sending five like a Mike Blood Zero, this tight end is going to pick up most pressure. And then you're going to be able to throw this in route over the middle for, again, five to ten yards. And we're just basically horizontally dotting our way up the field. The other cool part about this play is let's say that they're playing like a one robber where they do have some safety help over the top. You're going to notice that this year middle thirds really do a terrible job of defending this post route over the middle. And as you can see there, we're going to be able to, to hit that with a pretty high degree of consistency. Now, let's talk about what this play can do for you against zone coverage, which I actually think is one of the more underrated uh, things that we can do with a mesh concept. Mesh concept has a lot of windows that we can hit and attack against zone coverage. First and foremost, we are always, always, always high lowing the flat defenders on both sides. So if they're playing any kind of like cloud flat, if they're not getting a hard flat on the field, then these mesh concepts late in this route combo will be really effective for getting up field for a couple of yards on either corresponding side. I'll show that as well against uh, cover three. And so again, we're just kind of forcing the opponent. They have to hard flat. They have to shade down. If they don't, we are going to kill them underneath with these mesh routes. Again, five to 10 yards. Easy read, easy money. So what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to shade underneath. They're going to have to play some hard flats. Once they start to play hard flats, it really opens up this C route on the left side, as you can see right here. Now, this hard flat adjustment is also going to open up your uh, comeback route. So in this example here, I'm going to use a comeback. You're going to see once he cuts back, we're just going to throw that with an outside pass lead. And as you can see, that hard flat defender is completely engaged uh, with that with that outside uh, with that outside route. Now let me show you the same concept against like a cover three. And what you'll see is that that outside you see how that curl flat's drifting back, 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 and then we can potentially check that down to our our drag um, on the right side. I'll show that again because that was a little bit of an inconsistency. Uh, I do think the C route kind of pulls curl flats better, but what you'll see here again, get that to the sideline, and you see there we get a couple yards. Now, uh, another cool part about double posts specifically, and, and really specifically, uh, this is a, a little bit of a specific concept from double post. This, uh, this post will absolutely crucify cover three. 
you literally can't run cover three against that post this year because the middle thirds just don't defend it well. And then another thing that is really cool about the way this play works is the outside third on the left is going to get stuff sucked down uh, by the C route. So there's just a lot of different options on this play. I think that's why it's one of the best plays in the game every single year. But please understand, like, just the basics of using this mesh concept will make you a better player. And you can do it from a lot of different variations. You can do it from a lot of different adjustments. But at the end of the day, the two drags coming over the middle of the field this year is one of the best ways to attack man coverage. Now, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level and you want to learn more about how to become a better player in Madden 24, I really would encourage you to check out my Patreon um, as I throw an absolute <laughs> as I throw an absolute book uh, to Jalen Hyde on the on the on the po or on the drag because they bumped. Um, but I really would uh, encourage you to check out my Patreon. Uh, there we see it again. That's awesome. Maybe you don't want to mesh with those guys. Um, <laughs> but again, I really do. I really encourage you uh, guys to check out the Patreon. It's only ten dollars to become a member. It's going to get you access to literally everything, all of my offensive and defensive eBooks, all of my uh, updates to those eBooks, really any new eBooks that we release while your membership is active. You get everything um, for just ten bucks. Just ten bucks gets you access to all of that content, and uh, you'll get some really good stuff. The other cool part about it. Uh, like I said, is it is it does update throughout the Madden season. So you're always going to be able to uh, stay on top of just the, the best stuff that you can be doing uh, offensively or defensively. So really encourage anyone that wants to get better at Madden uh, to join the Patreon. I think it's literally for everyone. Everyone can learn something, including me. Um, I learn I learn from literally everybody. Uh, so anyways, go on in the Patreon uh, links in the description. Thanks for watching the video, guys. And uh, yeah, mesh concept. Use it with comebacks and posts, and it's one of the best concepts in Madden 24.